So today we're joined uh, by Dr. Michelle Ndiaye, who's the uh, Director uh, for Peace and Security at the Institute for Peace and Security Studies. It's a joint program with the African Union. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, um, why is social cohesion uh, such a vital uh, requirement uh, for African uh, peace and security? Well, I, I believe that um, it's, a, it's a concept that, is, um, that sounds very, very far mm. if you are in a, in a uh, conflict setting, mm. but yet easy to achieve if you have um, all the, the prerequisite mm. that takes you to that. Mm. And I think, um, as I said yesterday during my intervention, I think social cohesion is nothing else than having uh, understood uh, what shared values mean in a society, uh, what a sense of purpose mean, and you share it with your citizen. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, a leader who really would like to uh, bring together uh, his own people around shared values, around a sense of purpose, but also uh, making sure that those values are defended by the same people who um, are um, uh, to whom those values are also important. So, and I used to give um, a very simple example to illustrate what I said about. Uh, um, uh, social, social cohesion. I come from a country uh, called Senegal in West Africa. Um, um, the majority of the population in Senegal is Muslim, 98% of the population. I come from the 2%. I'm from the 2%, the minority. I'm Catholic. And I always say, I never felt that I was part of a minority. That's a very strong message. And I say it um, with a sense of pride, because I know that if anything happened to that minority, it's the majority that defends that minority. So I insist on being able to give a sense of purpose, share values, but also defend those values. And who should defend those values? And I do believe that um, it's, a, it's a long, um, it doesn't come in, in just one day. It's also the social fabric of the society that create that social cohesion. But I also believe that uh, strong leadership has a great role to play in bringing people together and making sure that our differences and our diversity uh, become uh, a common good. And the example that, that I gave about Senegal is called as a miracle, which is not. I believe that it's generation of generation and uh, centuries of traditional uh, leaders and practices that had brought that. But in the modern time, in contemporary Senegal, it's also having leadership that believe and are making sure that um, these values are preserved. Now, the difficulty is, as we go along, um, how do you keep that? Because we're surrounded by neighbors who are troubled today. And um, the defense of those values are uh, is what is critical, uh, especially when uh, your neighbors are dealing with um, issues that are that actually are the the, the brewing ground for right. for conflict. Right. Now you talk about um, uh, the social fabric, and I wonder if you could say something about the role of the media in that. You know, given you know you've worked with the media for many many years, mm -hmm. uh, what what is the role of the media in bringing this about? Well, I used to call the media uh, the third power. Uh, today, they, I think um, they are the, the fourth one. <laughs> Internet right. has replaced the media. Right. And I also always say that I am not quite sure that um, media practice, practitioners themselves understand the importance of the microphone 
having work uh, with uh, small community radios across the continent in rural Africa, I realized how important um, grabbing the microphone was important for people, not only to express their views, but also to share knowledge. And in the modern time, having the power to influence people, having the power to change a narrative about certain issues that happen in your society is a powerful, powerful tool. And it's important that media practitioners understand that they have this powerful tool and should use it towards uh, creating peaceful societies and cohesive societies. And I also think that um, we have a role to play in the training of those media practitioners. One thing that is quite important is not only the training and what you put the curricula and the content of the training, but it's also having a regulatory body that allows deviation uh, to be stopped and to be dealt with accordingly. But we cannot um, over uh, emphasize the importance of the microphone and what it brings in creating a cohesive society if used well, if the right narrative um, is um, uh, given, but also if the right words I use through that microphone. Right. And that's what is creating social cohesion. Right. Now, still on the issue of social cohesion and inclusion, uh, I wonder if I can take you back uh, mm -hmm. to leadership and ask you about governance. Uh, what sort of governance uh, styles and arrangements are required uh, to bring this about? Well, I think institutions play a great role in making sure that um, we adhere to certain governance principles. Mm -hmm. And we should not um, uh, open the debate again about um, external um, uh, frameworks that comes from the north and being imposed to us. We're part of a global society. And I believe that those norms are important to every human being and the well-being of the people. I have, I think there are three uh, um, imperative when it comes to, to governance. It's about transparency. How do you create a society where the doing of those in power is transparent? The, the doing of the citizen is equally transparent. Right. You have accountability where our leaders are held accountable um, on every single thing they do, and the citizen equally accountable. And I also think that making sure that those institutions that are established to make those two um, prerequisites, I call them prerequisites, to any uh, um, good functioning of a, of a country are equally strong and build um, towards uh, the objective of making sure that accountability and transparency are um, in place. Okay. No, excellent, excellent. No, thank you very much. It's really been a pleasure uh, speaking with you, and uh, I'm sure we'll uh, keep the conversation going. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you.